Hi, I'm Dina Manzo. And I'm Teresa Judice, and we've teamed up with Glam to give you some New Year's tips and ideas. I'm gonna show you how to make a fabulous New Year's Eve table. And I'm gonna make a quick appetizer that you're gonna love. So let's get started. First and foremost, Teresa, you have to serve your fabellini in style, right? Teach me how. So we're gonna take these little swizzle sticks, and today I'm gonna to be using some garland, but you could use like pom-poms or you know, ribbon like this. Um, you could do this with the kids. Oh my but, god, my daughters will love to I do this. Know. So maybe you should work the hot glue gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Milani would love to do that. Yeah, you just put a little bit of hot glue right on there, twirl it around, so and that's cute. it. It's so easy and so fun. It makes your drink much cuter than it would be without it. So perfect way to serve that champagne. This is my favorite one, though. You know me about manifesting. Yes. So I call these my little wish boxes. And basically we took an Altoid box. We covered it with any kind of craft paper you could find. I did some little horoscope paper here from the newspaper, you can do that. It's just decoupaging, simple as that. So once you put the paper on, you cover it with some Mod Podge, you're all done. And inside, put these little pencils. They sell these, these are like little gambling pencils. They have them all around. And I put little, a good luck pig, a good luck charm, and some paper. And oh, you encourage your guests yeah. to just write their wishes down. They can hold on to them, they can burn them when they want, when they come true. It's just a really nice idea. You know me, I like to put meaning into everything that I do. So instead of like a flower angel that just looks pretty, let's put some meaning back into the flowers. You could research every flower, what it means. Red roses, if you want to bring more love into your life. These are little, cute little bud vases. You can make them, you know, specific to who's coming. This is about friendship, if you want to bring some more friends in your life. Gratitude. Oh. I mean, we're all so grateful, so carnations represent that. So cute, these little name tags. I you can do whatever this. you want. These are little wooden ones that I got, and you could just write on it what we want to bring in, and that represents the flower. Or you can write someone's name on it if you want to just have your little secret meaning. You know, I want to bring more love for my friend. You can do that too. And this idea is so much fun. It's a great way to count down the new year. Basically, what you're gonna do is buy some of these clear glass plates. They are for sale anywhere. I got these at the dollar store for a dollar. Print out some clock patterns. Use parchment paper if you want it to look a little older, or your traditional, any color you want. You're gonna cut it out. These patterns are available online. Just Google clock, I swear, it's there, it's free. Cut them out, put them right on top of your charger, underneath your clear plate, and there you go. So cute, right? Yeah, I love this idea. But your table's not complete without my bruschetta classica. I agree. It's pretty easy to make, to mix up the topping. You get plump tomatoes, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, oregano, garlic, salt, and pepper. Mix it up. You could leave it in the refrigerator for like a half hour, so the flavors get into the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You get Italian bread, you slice it up, you brush olive oil on it, put it in the oven, bake it for like five minutes till it gets a little toasted, and then put it on top of the bread and serve it, voila. So And it's easy. a great appetizer when your guests first get to the house. So it'll get them all started and excited for the meal. And exactly. it looks great on the plate. Go ahead and subscribe to Glam right now. Because you don't want to miss out on any of my fabulous party ideas. And you don't want to miss out on my great recipes. Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so, first we're going to talk... <laughs> and if you need more love in your life, you can put some red roses. Is that too loud? <laughs> right on there. You can write bitch if someone you don't like is coming. <laughs> Black roses for that horrible friend that's coming. <laughs> you know what? Maybe hand me one of those and we'll go Happy New Year. But it's empty. <laughs> no, no, one of those sticks. Okay. Yeah, hand horns. me that and then we'll say Happy New Year. Yeah, you could do that. I'll oh, she cheer does you have on. horns. Oh, you have horns? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring on the horns. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Oh, you don't want to blow it? You're, you're good blowing. I'm good. <laughs> I got to save my energy. <laughs> it's cute, right? All right, I'll try to blow it. Yeah, let's try to blow it together. I'm just afraid my eyes are going to fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> I okay. forgot to blow. No. <laughs> right? It's just so like awkward. It's cute. I don't want to blow on camera. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's right? a different network? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good.